Country Director, Global Peace Nigeria, and Chairman Khan, Kaduna State, Reverend Joseph Hayap, has appealed to insurgents, bandits, and kidnappers to sheath their sword and embrace peace for the interests of the country. Joseph Hayab made a call during the 2021 International Peace Day Walk and lecture organized by Course 3 PhD, Peace and Conflict Studies, Nasarawa State University, Kefi, on Tuesday. And, 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 and there is strength in diversity. But over time, we find people who are trying to manipulate. I, and I'm using that manipulation in a very classic sense. What they do is just manipulate. The Reverend can do his Christianity. Mm. The Imam can do his Islam. There is no problem. Mm. I, I didn't decide to be outside the book. So, but, but you find that simply because of economic and political agenda. So we need something into, the, into dividing our people and causing a lot of crisis for us. That as we mark this International Peace Day, let's not just talk about it with our mouth. Let's take proactive action to see that peace return to Nigeria, that all these killings stop. Government, we know, that have the capability to address insecurity. Please live to your responsibility. Don't allow selfish people to kill fellow citizens just like that and go scot-free. Anybody who shed innocent blood, anybody who kill another Nigerian must not go scot-free. But we want peace and we want to dialogue to find peace. But there must be justice in handling peace matters. It will be foolhardy to fold our arms and say because of banditry we will not try. Okay, we will have to give it, we'll continue to try. Uh, we will not give the, uh, what do you call it, the enemies of the state, the free ride they want. Call them bandits, call them any name. Um, our concern here is to say that there is no alternative to peace. We will continue to strive for peace. We will gather the stakeholders, we will continue to dialogue and do all that will help us to attain, attain and achieve this peace in our country. And joining us live to discuss World Peace Day is Ijoma Pearl Okoro, past District Rotary International District 9141. Hello, Ijoma. Good evening, my dear. Good evening. Good evening, ma'am. Happy ma World Peace Day. Same to you. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good to see you on a peaceful day like this. Thank you. Well, how can we get Nigeria back on the track of peace? My dear, it's, uh, it's all inclusiveness. I'm like the, the, the guy um, marching on the street did say, um, the quest to have a peaceful Nigeria is actually not a task that should be left to government alone. It requires inclusiveness. It requires um, a participation of all stakeholders. And that is why in Rotary International, we, we strive to ensure that all the activities and projects that we do actually tend towards um, maintaining peace and order in our society. Um, Rotary carries out projects and interventions that actually address, address uh, the ills in the society. We do that through about four different ways, through our members whose daily projects and services, whether we are doing um, uh, projects on uh, maternal and child care, whether we are actually creating a sustainability for the um, environment, or even whether we are promoting literacy, it's all geared towards ensuring that people live together, people have a peaceful coexistence. I mean, through the Rotary World um, um, Peace Centers that trains over 1,300 people annually, um, 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 about 100 people, but I mean, a total of about 1,300 people in the world, we try to ensure that we pick professionals scattered all over the country, all over the world, who are actually gathered together in um, peace centers and are trained. So at the end of their fellowship programs, they go back to the environment to actually continue the um, the um, peacemaking moves. Okay, of talking about continues to act as leaders too. Yeah. yeah, Nigerians are you know just staying in you know in, with that first question on how to bring uh, Nigeria back to the track of peace. Nigerians are presently generally discouraged. How can our leaders revive the Nigerian spirit of brotherhood? Yeah, 
um, first of all, you know, for us here, what, what Nigerians, what the citizens of Nigeria, what they require is a self of belonging. We are, we are living in a situation where almost a lot of people have actually lost hope. They're actually, they're actually not sure of what tomorrow will bring. They are living in a world of uncertainty, breakout of law and order, and things that are actually extraordinary happen. So for us, the government, the government actually needs to reassure through the activities of government, reassure the citizenry that there is hope that whatever that is not going on well can actually be rearranged. People need to trust themselves. They need to trust the government. They need to trust the environment. It's an all-inclusive thing, like I said earlier. It's not just the government that is going to help us to get there. Every one of us needs to be part of it. But what we require is trust. We're in a situation where it looks as if most people have lost trust in our, in our system. And once that trust is uh, re-established, it's and uh, there is proper dialogue. There's proper communication between people, and people um, believe in government, and government believes in them. Then the um, idea of restoring peace to this nation will become a reality. Okay, is equity still possible in Nigeria? You think? Um, how can it be achieved? Oh yes, I talked about inclusiveness. Equity is still uh, is still possible. Um, uh, a situation where people feel some are included and some are not included, some are favored and some are not favored. It is possible. It is a thing of the mind. We need to begin to do things that show that all of us belong to the same one Nigeria. We all have equal rights. Um, we have uh, um, um, equal rights, access to water, access to food, access to good governance, access to proper security and all that. It's all inclusive. It's all, um, um, it all borders in inclusiveness. Once everybody is involved and everybody is meant to feel, to feel alike, to feel the same, to feel that what matters in the north matters in the east, and what what matters in the West also matters in the South. Then we can all come to a proper round table and beginning and begin to correct the things that are wrong in our society. Everybody needs to get involved. We need to um, reenact the peace, the trust that we once shared as a nation. Well, we look forward to that day when Nigeria will become truly one like it used to be. It, well, definitely will, it definitely will become one. It definitely will. And uh, it requires each and every one of us to make it happen. And I'm committed to it. Same way Rotary is committed to it. And I'm sure, my dear, you're committed to it too. Oh, I am. Thank you so much, Ijoma Pearl Okoro. You are the past district Rotary International District 9141. Yeah, thank you. Thank no you worry. so much for Thanks. your time. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.